Thank God. All right. Hey, everybody. This is Eugene. And Emma. And we are here to talk to you about why we only do 12-ounce lattes and drink smaller than that. We've received a few times where people come in and they ask, can we get the largest coffee? You know, anywhere between 16 to 20 ounces. Obviously, for our hot drinks, a lot of you guys know we only do 12 ounces. Why? So the majority of the reason why we do that isn't because we don't want to get more cups or different sizes, but it's because the majority of our coffee is built with a recipe to ensure that you get the best taste from our coffee along with steam drink. Emma, would you like to explain what different items we have on the counter here? Yes. So here, the tiniest one, this is a cortado. So this is about six ounces, two ounces of espresso because you have the double shot in there, and then about four ounces, give or take, of milk. So you get a really nice um, espresso taste. You get a really, a lot stronger drink. Um, and then you go up to an eight ounce cappuccino. And this is gonna be a little bit more milky, but it's still a really nice balanced drink. Um, still gonna be a little bit um, stronger on the espresso side than the latte. Um, and then here we have the 12 ounce latte. This is probably our most popular drink. This one is the double shot of espresso. So you have two ounces of espresso about, and then um, the 10 ounces of steamed milk, which is gonna add a really nice sweet flavor to it without adding any sweetener into the actual drink itself because you're steaming the milk at a certain temperature and it makes it really sweet. This one is our toaster. Our abomination. Our ginormous. Guy. So we don't actually have a cup that was big enough for this so we ended up using one of our shakers yep. and we had to do a full pitcher or full yeah pitcher of a cappuccino pitcher and then a full latte pitcher to get up to about where we are now, which is not very far. We're, we're about a, three quarters of an inch away from the top. So there's one other drink that we offer here that's, not, that's missing, it's our macchiato. It's a bit smaller than this, but you'll notice that the sizes go down. Again, the main thing that we wanted to do is create a drink that tastes good of our coffee. So we're gonna go ahead and taste these and we're gonna give you an update as to what we think. Go ahead and give you a breakdown. Our cortado size cup here, very strong on the coffee flavor. There's a little bit of milk, and you will notice that there's a little bit more acidity, a little bit more of the coffee flavor overpowering the milk. Cappuccino, a little bit more chocolatey, has a little bit of sweetness, but not as much sweetness. And it is definitely something that is kind of a good, you know, amount of coffee to milk. The latte. So this is what we've designed for, and I think what I've just tasted really does hit it right on the top. We made our espresso so that there would be a little bit of complexity, some acidity um, and some bitterness, not really bitterness, but like chocolatey tones. And the reason why we have the acidity in the espresso is so that when you have steamed milk introduced to it, there's a lot of sweetness that comes out of that. So it comes out tasting sweet, despite the fact that we haven't added in any sugar. What is coming out of that is the milk sugars interacting with this espresso. So sweet, has a very nice ending of chocolate, but not overpowering like the cappuccino. But we get to this guy. So the reason why we avoid doing this guy is one, it ends up being too expensive to even want to put on there because people are gonna have to pay for extra shots and they're gonna have to pay for the extra milk. And then at the end of the day, you're just getting steamed milk with a little bit of espresso if you don't add in the extra shot and so on. You're getting more milk than espresso. More milk than espresso. So really you're just getting fuller yeah. instead of more caffeinated. Absolutely. And then, you know, when you start adding in sugar, you have to add in more sugar to this type of a drink. And then you really do lose the beauty of the coffee. So coming from a coffee purist point of view, you know, we're sorry, we don't have larger drinks and we can totally understand if you want a bigger drink and you go somewhere else, that is up to your discretion, of course. But if you want to taste something that we've been designing and we've been working on and we've perfected, the reasoning behind our 12 ounce latte is for the ratios. Delicious. Delicious ratios. I used to get sugar in my coffee every, every time until I started coming here and realized you steam the milk at a certain point 
And it makes it taste sweet and good and delicious. There are quite a bit of steps to making a really good espresso and a really good steamed milk to create a good latte. And you know, it's a, it's a refined craft. But I almost want it to look like velvet. Almost velvety. Oof. It doesn't look velvety now because these have been sitting out for a little bit and you know, the gases do things to the milk, but either way, we are so glad that you guys joined us. Um, hopefully you found this interesting. And if you do want to learn more about espresso, lattes, anything coffee related, comment below, let us know, and we'll put something together for you. Yep. And don't forget to subscribe and then follow us on Instagram or both and keep in touch with us and let us know what you think.